Hello and welcome back to RimWorld. Oh boy, it's not looking good in our lovely small colony here. Swanson might just die from blood loss. So let's see if he actually... I don't think he can recover from this without treatment. Uh, he is actually slowly recovering. Oh, so if he doesn't get an infection, he's not going to die. Oh. A tactician named Nadine Huan calls you from nearby. She's being chased by outlanders from Intimacy, Intimacy's Cliff. She begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, she is 29 years old. Be warned, if you accept, you'll have to fight all the outlanders on her tail. I have to accept this. Even though it could very well kill us. Okay, so Huin. You are incapable of social, scary and artistic. You are a teetole and greedy. But you are good at some things. So go back to camp. Grab this bow. And you have to fend off the the raid that's probably going to come. I also prioritize treating Swanson immediately. Okay, so raid. Yes, they are attacking immediately. What the heck is this? How am I going to to fend that off? Swanson, you do have your gun. No, you do not have your gun. Well, just, you know... What? Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Grab... Quinn, grab that charge rifle. You need to get out of here. I know you, you're still wounded, but you're not going to die from blood loss now. That's good. Oh boy, she's not even going to grab the gun quick enough. Yes, Huin, retreat. Yes, just shoot him. No, 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 you, oh, you shot your own person. Okay, quickly. Yes, kill at least some of them. No, Swanson is down. Okay, but this other dude is down as well. Okay, Huin, you have to do this yourself. Okay, they are setting fire to my plants. That's not so nice. Um, let's just hope we can win this. Okay, there are still three people left. And, oh, no, there are actually four people left. And one of them is coming in hard. Uh, he's going to fire at him. Don't try to s hit him. Oh, and there's another we lost. It is over. Well, boy, it hasn't been going good for me. Yeah, please destroy everything. <laughs> They're just going to kidnap us. Well, at least it's raining, so it's not burning down everything anymore. Well, Thomas is still left. And we... They just left Lysa bleeding out here. I guess you didn't like... Uh, they didn't like her. I'm surprised that these people are still here. And Thomas is just chilling. Well, it is time that we might, you know, go and start another colony. I do like this game very much, so I'm, I'm gonna give it a third try here. And I think I'm going to go with the crash land again. Uh, the Ridge Explorer didn't work out for us. At all. <laughs> so. We're going, you know what, let's spice it up, no, y yeah, let's spice it up a little bit. We're going to play Randy Random on Rough and Permadeath, of course. I've never played on Randy, I, I only played on Cassandra so far, and it, you know, it's not, go uh, it's going somewhat fine-ish. So, <laughs> I'm not going to play on a seed that's called Boomerat. Also, n not on Challenging, uh, Bowler Hat, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll fecker 13. Bowler hat. I have played in a mountainous area and some forest. Why don't we play in like an arctic forest? In an arctic forest, a tundra or maybe a rainforest. I don't actually see a rain. No, there is some rainforest down here. Like a tropical rainforest. But why don't we play in a tundra? A boreal forest, lightly held, like small hill? 
uh, let's not take large shields. Yes, large shields. Slate, limestone and marble. This is perfect for me as well. So, boreal forest. Uh, 11th of spring to 1st of fall. Can we get a little bit better growing period going maybe? Down here? No. Oh, maybe down here. Uh, this Is this all mountainous though? Yeah, I think it is. I think there are no large shields down here. That's sad. How about over here? Well, there are some large shields, but it only has granite and marble. I don't like that. Marble, sandstone and granite. Let's go to back to the place where I was. Um, if I can actually find it again. Sandstone, granite, limestone. I have no idea where I was. Limestone, granite, marble. No, I actually, I have, like, I, I want some... I know exactly what kind of stone types I want because I like them the most from the looks. And it's marble, slate and limestone. Or sandstone. Sandstone and limestone both go. Well, okay, this is but only small hills. Large hills. Large hills, slate, sandstone, no. I don't understand. I shouldn't have picked in different time. Marble, slate and limestone. It Perfectly. Boreal forest, large shields. I think this is exactly the spot we just choose before. It's going to be a little bit different. Uh, hopefully, mostly we are going to go hunt. So that's interesting. Let's select this site. Um, this guy is 29. He's co incapable of social and artistic. I don't mind that. I do mind that he's a night owl. And he's not really great at anything. You are incapable of long, dumb labor and scary. You are good. Ah, you have a scab scar in your torso, though. That's not nice. But you are really good. And you're an optimist and neurotic. I'm gonna take you. Like, you can basically be everything. So that's good. And then we have you. You are incapable of violence. That's uh, already bad. You are good at constructing. You know, you could be my constructor. But I can't have too many people incapa being capable of firefighting because this guy is already incapable of firefighting. So please be not incapable of that. Uh, you're not really awful. So not that great. You're too old and bold. Uh, not that I have anything against bold people. You're too old. Wow, okay, well. How can I not take this already? I mean, we have his, his wife and his son. But the problem is that he is incapable of everything. He's... And he's also a night owl. Not, the night owl is not bad, but he is... He can be our social animal handler. But that's... Like, they all... Why is this guy... Oh. Well, they're not this guy, but he's uh, his wife. But yeah, I can't have him. Also, you do look like a... You do look a little bit like your wife with that hairstyle. No, I can't have them be incapable of that much stuff. And also, they shouldn't be uh, old. You are incapable of... In You're depressive, though. That's already, <laughs> already not good enough. Could you not be incapable of firefighting? Okay, you are slothful. Ah, oh, that's not nice, but I'm gonna take you on. Uh, you're the son of Jerry Blair. What? So... Oh man, you're really old. So, God damn it! You are not incapable. You're gay and prostophile. That's both. Really, I don't care. Right hand, you have a little bit of a scrap. You are good at. You can be good at growing if I let you grow. You also can construct, and you are good at melee. I'm gonna take you on. So I have him. I I need. You're good. You're gonna be my doctor and my grower, probably. And you know what? Then I don't really need you. You're too old. You're not good enough. Dumb labor. Incapable of none. Not too old. Not too old. You're good at crafting and researching. You have a green thumb. You're prostified and too smart. I'm gonna take you on. And then we have you. You are good at growing. You can be good at constructing if I let you be. So why don't I take you on? I... Mm, yeah, sure. Do I really need her? I would like to have a cook, maybe? And someone who's good at socializing. 
Uh, you're a doctor, you know. Psychically dull, cold tolerant. Cold tolerant is really good, but you have some scars. That's not nice. You know, they they do have an impact on your. Like everyone has a scar thus far. Uh, I should have taken that person, by the way. You're really good. You're, you're exactly what I want. You are nervous. That's, you know, it's what it is. You're also incapable of scary. So we only have one firefighter, but that, that's got good to go here. I don't want to click random too often, but I do have a general idea of what kind, uh, what kind of colonists I want to take on this. The three of you awake in your crypt asleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall all around you, you start making plans to survive. Also, okay. Wow, these hills are larger than I expected. Also, there's a lot of water. We are landing in a puddle immediately. We're going to con build our base right here in the middle. And I have played another game in the meantime. And first of all, you need to haul all of this. Like, this is all haulable. Oh, we have a dock. That's nice. Haul everything. Okay, so who's good at shooting? You're not good at shooting. You're, you're decent. How about you? Okay, you're definitely going to get the rifle, and you're going to get the pistol. Nora, you're going to get the knife. A plus steel knife, that's really good. Okay. Build a room. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to build a room. I have a new tactic a little bit. Uh, it's, uh, you know, not really a new tactic, but it's... Uh, we're just going to build a huge complex. So 15 by 15, that's going to be our fridge. And right next to the fridge, I'm going to have our workshop area. So where would I want to build everything else? I guess I'm going to build my sleeping quarters over here and have my farms down here. So let's build out like 10 into this direction. Well, the, the workshop doesn't need to be that large. And then I want to like a dining room up here. That can be. And uh, it's a little bit. need to be a little bit bigger. Okay, that's going to be our dining room. And then we can just have a room here for maybe a rest. a recreation room. Not recreation, but a restroom. So let's get some doors in there. Also get a door right in here. Oh, no, that's not where I wanted the door to be. And this is going to be our main complex. Our fridge, our workshop, our dining room, and everything else. Okay, this is good to go, but uh, everyone needs to construct right now. But we also need to have some... I also like... Uh, I, I tend to build too much at the same time. So, why don't we just wait for them to finish this room? Where are you going, sir? Okay, you are immediately destructing these chip chunks because I told you so. That's not exactly what I wanted, but okay. You know, it's, it's nice to have some components and stuff. Right now, you just need to build this room. It's going to be rather cold, because we are in a burial forest. So we need to prepare for that. Also, we need to go hunt soonish, like some muffalos. Because growing is not going to be very uh, long. Also, we start in the summer because the summer is obviously the warmest <laughs> month. And the spring itself is very cold in a boreal forest, so that's bad. We do have some raspberry bushes we hopefully can harvest, but who knows. Right now, I just want this room to be finished so that I can start building the... Uh, not the restrooms, but the. No, I think this is. Yeah. Okay. So this is far enough away. I know. I know. The, the room, the big room, is not yet finished. So why are you already building that? I don't know. 
Okay, seven by seven. This should be seven by seven, yes, okay. Okay, so we have three rooms for now, that's good enough. We also want some beds in them. Just some simple wooden beds. And of course we need some more wood, so let's go ahead and order to plant some of these trees inside of our base. They're not going to finish this today, but hopefully tomorrow. So I don't have a night owl, I think. You prostophile, nervous, cold tolerant. Cold tolerant is really nice. You're also an optimist and neurotic. That's also good because I want you to work faster. Okay, can you actually prioritize working on these? Uh, Bats. No, you can't. Right now you're just cutting down trees. Well, okay, they are not going to finish it today. They're already sleeping. Manuel. You are my dog, you have advanced intelligence, that's nice. And you are... You have a bond with Nora. Okay, well, how much meal... How many meals do we have? We have, like, meals for... Around a week or so. Yeah, no, not really. Not even. I think like four days or so. They eat twice a day, I think. So twice, six meals a day. Yeah, that's not gonna hold for long. I don't actually want to do the math, even though it's really uh, easy math. But I'm, I'm, it's late, and I don't want to do math. Leave me alone, please. No, actually, don't leave me alone. Okay, what is this? This is an Arctic wolf. Wow, I want to tame these. Uh, that's going to be on my priority list. Of course, we need to be careful when we tame these, because they probably would attack us if we fail. Okay, so we have a lot of... Like, a lot of uh, resources, hopefully, in these mountains. I, even though I don't see too many. Uh, there's there's some, especially the components are very useful. But I don't see any any unique resources, sadly, like gold or jade. I don't even see plus steel. Is this plus steel? No, that's just compacted steel. Plus steel would be nice, but I don't think we have any. Mm, at least not on the surface. Uh, actually, that might be... No, that's also steel. We have a solar flare. That's, that's not really a problem for us. Uh, you are idle. Are you not cutting wood? Go and cut wood. If you are idle. Okay, we finished one room, that's nice. Just cut all of these plants. Like, I want this, uh, these rooms to be empty, as good as they can be. Okay, who's our best builder? Because, man, you are building these. They are just all awful. Nora, you are building this. You're not okay. Well, can you please build this bed? No, no, Blair, you can't. You don't understand. No, you don't understand. You're not supposed to build this, Nora. You need to build this because the chance is higher that it's not awful, but it's still awful. Uh, why are two of my people sleeping on the ground, Nora? Oh, you know what? <laughs> we haven't installed doors. That might be the reason. Yeah, that's a problem. We do need doors. Okay, so two days and we still don't have... Oh, actually, it's the second day and we barely have our rooms up and running. So it, it's going good so far, I would say. It could be better. I should have prioritized the, the bad rooms, I guess. Let's cancel all of these orders. Like, they're, they're going to do this anyway as soon as I... You know, I, I shouldn't have called, uh, canceled all of the orders, but... Because <laughs> I canceled this wall accidentally. But if I just go ahead and say stockpile... Right here, just store everything in there for now. Except human corpses. 
or you can't corp uh, animal corpses and anything else you know don't allow rotten things okay they are hauling stuff now uh, we do need to cut some trees if we want to actually build the rest of these buildings so please continue doing that especially build the doors <laughs> But well, they know they're doing stuff. Expect a wanderer. I actually don't know what to expect because we are playing on Randy. So on Cassandra you'd normally have a wanderer join and then a small raid or something like that. Randy, he can just do whatever he wants. Like, there's... There's not much stopping him. And it, it's a little bit scary to be honest. Could you please prioritize building these doors? <laughs> we really need them. Okay, that's good. Okay, the rooms are finished. I think it is time that we start growing. So, we're going to set up some growing zones. Right down here. So let's get a... What is it exactly? Because I, I built them for my wind turbines. So it's 5 by 6. Five by six. No, no, no. Oh god, it's really hard to see that one. Five by six. Five by six. And we're just going to get f four of these. For now. Because we also need like five by ten on the other side two spaces and then five by ten it's not too hard and hopefully that's gonna provide us with enough food I actually don't know what are we go okay that might be overkill to be honest how's our growing like what's our best growing stat four nine nine is good and seven okay well that's really good then we're going to get Potatoes on these two. I'm gonna say rice on this one. And give you corn on this one. I want some cotton on this one. And I want. Is this heal root? Can we grow heal root already? Yes. Okay. Okay, so we have cotton. Let's grow some hops already. Just, you know, for future planning. And then I'm gonna get some more rice. Good. They are going to take care of this, which will hopefully take care of our food problems if we ever have some. The earlier we start this, the better, because we don't have much time. Before the cold weather starts in and we can't grow any stuff more. Any more stuff. We should start building some floors as well. Just get some wooden floors going. so that they cut out everything in these buildings. And we should start on working on my, uh, priorities. Okay. Everyone is going to be a patient and bed rest at highest priority. Everyone should be a doctor if he has nothing else to do. I just want them to do this so I can treat people if, I, if they need us be. And the uh, same goes for flicking. Sarah, the herbalist, is going to be our doctor here. Who's going to be our warden? I guess it has to be you. No, you're not going to be a warden. Animal handler. They all have a passion for it. Why don't you do it, herbalist? Uh, actually, wait, you're both an herbalist. You can be three. Ah, no. You both need to grow. That's pretty important. That means that you have to construct. Actually, let me just see these skills so that I have an idea of what they're good in. Everyone is tall and clean. I'm just gonna set everything to zero so I can actually see who's the best in what. 
more easily. Okay, so you're also good at mining. That's bad because I need you growing. You're going to mine if you can't grow. You're going to construct first if you don't warden. You need to cook first as well. You're going to hunt first. Animal handling is going to be, you know what, done by everyone. Whoever wants to do it, he can do it. Actually, that's a bad idea because that means we can't really level it up for everyone. So, we'll see who has nothing else to do. Everything, everyone needs to plant cut. And you will also do the crafting. And the, you know, art is not that important, but the crafting. And I guess you also do the research if you have nothing else to do. As well as hauling and cleaning. That's pretty important. You are very interested in researching, but you're bad at it. Okay, well, and you need to mine as well, and I want you to build and repair as well. I also want you to hunt. You can, you know what, you can cook with a three. And everyone is going to be an animal handler if he has nothing else to do. No, again, that is a bad idea. I don't know why I'm doing that. I think the one that has the least to do might be you. So do it with a three. Okay, uh, it should be set up properly now. Uh, we want a sleeping spot for animal. Right there. So that Nora can sleep with Manuel because she is the, the master of him. I'm not gonna train him yet. Flower will. No. That's way too... Too happy. This is... Uh, we're in a burial forest, so... This... This is now called Frost Castle. What a name. Okay. The community is now known as Frost Castle. Good. Okay, so we do have some berries. That's nice. That's going to help us out in the early game. Oh, yeah, this is our workshop. So we're going to build a stove and all that good stuff in here. But first of all, I want you to just build... Especially the floor. Like we have a lot of wood, so it shouldn't be a problem. And it's going to help you get better at constructing very quickly here. We do need to... Okay. <laughs> we do need to take down these trees. They are actually slowing us down. And actually, I also would like to expand this two more rooms perfect actually perfect just in case I need like a spot for a wanderer or maybe a prisoner we can still build something over here that's also nice And you are planting stuff like there's no tomorrow, which if you don't plant this stuff, there might not be one. So good on you, good on you. We still have low food, only seven full bars left. Our dog is probably eating them as well. But we do have these berries, so... Okay, there's the raid coming. Or a raid. Okay, this guy has a, has a pistol. He's attacking immediately. He's coming from all the way down there. Oh. Nora, you're going to keep yourself back and we're going to get Sarah and Blair going to deal with this problem Sarah what is he doing I don't like it okay let's slow down hopefully you just shoot him immediately that would be nice okay you missed that's bad uh, where is he going okay he is Okay, he has taken cover, so please go back and cover as well. You cannot actually shoot him here? Okay, yeah, you can. What is this scribble doing? Okay, nothing. Awesome, we actually only wounded him. 
Okay, that's really good. We don't have a prisoner bed ready just yet. So, you know what? Sarah, you're not the depressant one, are you? You are nervous, so I don't want you to sleep on the ground. Blair, how about you? You also, you know, Nora. Nora is going to sleep on the ground for tonight. Because she's also, uh, she's the only one that is not nervous or... She's actually too smart. Everyone has a higher break threshold, which is really bad, actually. They're just going to capture... What? I did. Yeah, okay, you are doing this now. Could you hold this pistol, please? That's somewhat important, because we're going to give this to Nora. Nora is just sleeping somewhere. Oh, there, on the ground. Amaya, what are you good at? I mean, we can still need someone. You're really good at shooting a melee. You're incapable of dumb labor. You're an optimist and neurotic. You're recruited. Chat and recruit. Someone does have to take care of her because she is bleeding out. And I don't want her to have an infection. I don't want to use medicine on her just yet, but we do need this person. So, Sarah, stand up, wake up, and prioritize treating her. So she doesn't die, or you know, have an infection, we have to use our valuable medicine on her. You nearly destroyed her right leg. And her torso also has seen better days, but she's, she's healing quickly now. Nora is uh, not happy, but you know, very low uh, expectations and new colony optimism is going good for her. She also ate a fine meal. But she is... Uh, she could break here. She could have a minor break at any point. Disturbed sleep, little pain. Why do you have a pain? Oh, because of the stretch car. Oh, this is only giving you pain. That's good. Because this guy has weakened consciousness because of this. And it's also permanent and weak and a weak pain. Amaya is fully healed. Well, who's our warden? Mad animal. A local arctic wolf has gone mad. No, 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 no. Slow down. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Go closer. Okay. We survived. That was scary. Um. Wow. Hopefully that never happens again. How's it going over here in this recruitment thing? Uh, f f could be even worse, but could be better. Yeah, you know, you do have to prioritize working on a bed. Because that's where you're gonna sleep today. I would also like you to prioritize on these walls. You're working on these walls. Yes, go recruit her again. Try to recruit her, at least. And it's already better, so that's nice. Yes, please build these walls first. You're chopping down some wood, that's really nice. Chop down more wood. Chop down all of these trees. This is going to be our restroom. Yes, okay. We could start building a table, that's very important. This is actually a very big room. Just for a table, to be honest. And it's also going to take a lot of resources and time. Nauro, what are you doing? No, stop going for a walk and work on these... Uh... Eclipse is ending, okay, well. You're going to sleep in the cold and outside, but at least you have a bed now. So that's good. And it's not very outside. Could you not disturb her sleep, though? Sarah, thank you. Okay, a lot of wood lying around. I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, then consider leaving a like and a comment down below. And we will see us in the next episode. Until then, take care. Bye.